Welcome to my X-Way XB4 Ways report. First, I want to say something about the track here at Model Indoor Oz. It's a very well prepared carpet indoor track with one speciality. Parts of the track have another surface. I would call it kind of plastic, but it doesn't matter how to call it. The interesting thing is that these parts are quite slippery. So we have here on the one hand well-known high-grip carpet, but on the other hand low-grip whatsoever. That means that the tires, in this case Schumacher Mini Pin, must be a little bit worn out to work well on both surfaces. But anyway, with four-wheel drive it is not such a big issue. You drift a little bit, but too much of our steering does not happen. I had a good and consistent qualifying with reaching always 14 laps in 5 minutes 16 and 5 minutes 3 respectively 5 minutes 4. The car was very good and I found a good rhythm but it reached only to place 17 out of 24 starters. This means start place 1 in the C main in a very competitive field. For comparison, the start position 1 in the A main reached 16 laps in 5 minutes 4. Unfortunately, my GoPro didn't film my races 1 and 3, but they were quite equal to the shown race 2. I could control the race from the start and drove my pace. In the first race, I reached 14 laps in 5 minutes 3, 2 seconds in front of the second driver. Race 2 was even better, with reaching 14 laps in 5 minutes 5, but with a lead of 17 seconds. So the win of the C main was fulfilled. In race 2 I had luck that the first start was aborted because the second driver hit me at my left back tire. I turned and a mass collision was the result. So fortunately the start was repeated. Race 3 was very exciting. I had a Great duel with the driver starting from place 2. We were equally fast. I made a small mistake and he could overtake me, but I could close up to him again. At the finish line he secured a lead of only 0.2 seconds with reaching 14 laps in 5 minutes 4 for both. I really enjoyed my races. Driving with the X-Ray is a pleasure. It handles very well and has a huge amount of steering. Nevertheless, I saw that I have to practice more and find the key to four-wheel drive buggy racing. The distance to the fast guys is quite big. Okay, I was new on that track in comparison to the local drivers that costs maybe 0.5 seconds. My overall best lap time was 20.247. The winner made a 19.0. So actually, it was not that far away. When I copy my C main time results into the A main, I would have been around place 7 or 8. But I know I cannot compare this because I had in my races no fights and I could drive quite comfortable in front. So the overall result is positive. The best thing is that the metal gears didn't break like the composite ones always did. In the training I broke the rear bulkhead but okay that can happen to all cars. Fortunately there is a dealer for X-Ray at this track so I could repair my car on site. As I mentioned, I like to drive this car and I am also very content with my result here at Model Indoor Oz Raceway. I am really looking forward for the next race. I, it will be in April at the big hobby fair Intermodellbau in Dortmund, Germany. So stay tuned not to miss my next race reports and updates. See you, bye bye. Overlapping.